Now to our brand new feature, which we've called... Ask an Expert. Ask an Expert, where we'll be bringing in experts from across a wide variety of subjects that you at home get to ask questions to. And today we have Energy Efficiency Solutions, who are heat pump specialists, and their sales manager, Heath Coleman, on the cafe to give us the lowdown on heat pumps. Welcome, Heath. Thank you. Thank nice you to have you here. Question time. Okay, are you ready for this? I've Go got a few here for you. Uh, Tracy from Sandrium, she wants to know why is a heat pump better than any other heating solutions? Well, n not only heat pumps heat your whole house, that uh, they also do your air conditioning. They help out with uh, your moisture in your house as well, and also air purifying. Okay, and they're quite uh, they're quite cost effective, aren't they? Yep, absolutely. So they're your most efficient heat source that, that's available out on the market. Okay. Tom wants to know, uh, he says, I'm not sure which kind of heat pump I should get. My wife thinks that the uh, floor heat pump would be better for us, but I want a wall one. What's the difference? It really depends on their house. Uh, some houses are better suited for the floor units. Um, if you have a really, really high ceiling, like some of the villas, uh, the floor units can be really, really suited for those. Some people don't have wall space, so they can't have the units up on the ceiling. I don't think I've ever seen a floor unit. What does it look like? Just... Uh, I guess it looks like one of your old kind of uh, radiators. You know? okay. So similar to those systems, just low down on the wall. Okay, so you can really pick and choose. What about if you've got one on the wall, but you don't want all the stuff going outside? Is there another solution to that? All the pipes and things? Yeah, so it's, it's quite common what we do in new build houses. We do what we call as pre-piping. So that's fitting all the pipes internally and through the walls. Okay. Um, so you don't see any external piping on the outside of the house. That was a question from Mel from the cafe, actually, just quietly. Uh, and another question from Raylene. She says, I've got a two-level home, uh, so what are the options for a heat pump? Can you use one for that? Yep, yep, absolutely. So it just depends on how much of the house that they are trying to heat. Uh, what we're often doing in our new-build houses, which are typically bedrooms upstairs and main living open plan downstairs, yeah. We often do a centralised ducted system and that does the whole upstairs so that's a heat pump up in the roof space and it's just vented to each of the rooms so that worked really really well. Then in the downstairs they just usually have a separate heat pump down there as well. So, so you just have the, seat, the system in the actual roof and then yeah. little holes into all the bedrooms to get all the heat. That's right, yep, so you don't see units on the walls or anything like that, they're really nice and quiet systems as well and they still do your heating, your air conditioning. And a lot of people would like that yep. and if you just wanted to heat your downstairs you just get one for the wall. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's good to split the two levels up as well because they're different climate zones. You know, upstairs is always going to be hotter than the downstairs. Mm. So it's good to have different temperature control okay. in those spaces. Uh, Joyce asks, what's the process for getting one installed? Is it messy and time consuming and is there stuff everywhere? Uh, no, so our, especially our guys, you know, we, we make sure we come to the house and we clean up after ourselves. Our guys are really, really good. Um, when we go for an installation, it can take the best part of half a day up to a full day to install the systems. Um, it depends on how many systems you're getting into the house. So. Okay. Who trains your cleaner uppers how to clean up properly? <laughs> are they going to meet my high standards, which are very low actually, by the way? Yep, so um, I, I would imagine they've all got strong women at home that know how to <laughs> teach them how to use a vacuum, so they're all pretty good at running them. Oh, excellent. That's good to know. Uh, Hayley's also got a question, says, what about in summer? Is it more expensive if you're running your heat pump in summer to use it as an air conditioner? Uh, well, most of the heat pumps nowadays are just efficient on their cooling as they are on their heating as well. So okay. we're finding more and more people are using for air conditioning. Okay. Also, especially with all the new build houses, the double glazed, well insulated, yep. that some of them are just getting so hot. Yeah. Into the well, it seems like we're getting warmer here because who, we never yeah. used to use air conditioners, but now I think they're almost essential. Yeah. Uh, we have another question, a question from uh, Holly. Is it Holly from the cafe? That's right, Holly from the cafe. Um, what about these ducted systems? Um, what sort of brands are good that you would recommend? Yeah, so, so we work with a, a wide range of brands. Um, your top brands, which you see mostly, are your Panasonic, your Mitsubishi, and, and your Toshiba systems. Um, those systems are either designed to go under the floor and just centralise, so like similar to your old classic gas central heating. But your main benefit of these systems is that they'll do the air conditioning and they'll do the, the air purifying and help out with moisture in the house there as well. And um, yeah, they're, they're great systems, just heat the whole house. You got that, Holly? That Holly was great. Cafe. Yeah. Excellent. Fantastic. Hey, Heath, uh, our very first Ask an Expert. You nailed it. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, next week, we'll be joined by the Pro Group to help you with any questions on carpeting your garage in our new segment. Ask an Expert. I love that so much.